Saturday today because it's International Female Ride Day and uh, the motto of International Female Ride Day is just, just ride. That's my Ramu Kaka. Ramu Kaka? Yeah. It gets me from one place to another. It, uh, Ramu Kaka is the symbol of kuch bhi chahiye, to Ramu Kaka lagi rata. That's what my bike is for me. It gets me everything which I need in life. It gets me freedom, gets me, gives me independence, gets me from one place to another. It represents uh, all my dreams, uh, you know, everything. So, this is my Ramu Kaka. Unstoppable. Soulmate. Huge monster. And for me, bikes are like a diamond. Pushing. It's my way of freedom here. Yeah. You're like helmet hair, right? I live with helmet hair. I mean, uh, you can say that's a crown. I think that's a beauty spot for a motorcyclist. Uh, no, I am able to manage. You know, I, I think it looks cool the way I tie my hair. Oh, helmet hair. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. I don't like them, but I have to live with them. It represents part of the freedom in the cycle, so it goes with the territory. The lady biker community in every country is really nurturing, helpful, really encouraging. So the thing to do would be to try and make contact with some other ladies that ride already, and then just learn from them where to go, how to do things, where the good places to buy things are. So use. The difference that is being a woman, which is the community and communication and helping each other, use that and try. And just go on the back of someone's bike for a while, just try it. If you like it, you can get into it. If you don't, then don't bother. You don't spend money, spend time speaking to people and developing a network. You know, my motorcycle doesn't, it's not gender biased, so it does not discriminate whether I'm a boy or a girl. So I don't see why women should not be riding motorcycles. Don't give up on your passions because I'm a comeback rider after 20 years and I I gave up because I was busy raising my two kids. So now they're big boys. I'm coming back into it and it got a little difficult for me because now I'm uh, 50 years old. So, you know, my reflexes are slow. I pay more attention to my safety gear because I know if I get hurt, my whole family is behind me. You know, Everybody is going to suffer. So I am... I don't speed up. I'm not a speed rider because I want to ride till 80, 60, you know, uh, for a long time to come. And don't give up on passion. You can always take up a ghanta, two ghanta, in a week, in a month, but keep on riding if riding is your passion. Otherwise, whatever your passion is, take up time. Yeah, I think if, you know, if riding is what sails your boat, a lot of women don't want to ride, which is fine, but there are a lot of women out there that really do want to ride. But they don't know where to start, you know, and uh, it's not a supportive community. So now what we're trying to create is opportunity for them to learn to ride, uh, motorcycles to ride on, and then, you know, when you're riding in the group, you feel safer. You know, you feel much more safer. So to provide that safety also, you know, that's the whole intention of women, uh, is to get more you know, women out there riding safe. Go for it. It's cool. It's nice. It gives you a lot of confidence, you know. Uh, you get the control of the machine. Be it uh, car, be it uh, you know bike, you get the control and it's really nice. And we are in control, we after all. Myself, Nisha Vishwa. Jake, this side. I'm Tarana. This is Ankita Arora. I'm Wing Commander Jyoti Mehta. I'm a serving officer in the Indian Air Force. I'm in service for the last 24 years and riding since the last 30 years. So, Sharon Crosby. Born a long time ago, been riding motorbikes for 35, 37 years. Um, started on little things in the UK, summer and winter, so scraping the ice off the bike in the winter to go to work. Um, now just riding a bike for fun.